DC stands must just be so happy. There was never a plan for this to become a DC Comics channel. It just kind of happened. DC survived. Everyone died or fell off or canceled themselves. And now it's just DC out there. And the DC stuff is pretty good. So why don't you get all the way off my back? <laughs> so, um, so anyway, got some uh, pictures. Iron Sight uh, 2 is getting out to people all over the world uh, still. So here's uh, a Jawbreaker, Cyberfrog, Iron Sights, a Stapler, and the Short Bus. Jeez. Just make it a cube at this point. Really? <laughs> Rubik's Cube. Uh, nice collection here. Flashpoint. Kingdom Come. Watchmen. And then here's with the amazing posters. Uh, the pinup for Jawbreaker's Grand Bazaar by Sashi is almost done. So we will be debuting that quite soon. So great stuff. Thanks for sending it in. So this is my review of Strange Adventures number two. And you're like, it, <laughs> what is that line from Titanic? It was 70 years ago. <laughs> like, <gasps> issue one seems so old. I feel like that's like the first comic I ever reviewed on this channel. It came out like, I don't know, two, three months ago. It seems very long ago. Honestly, I don't remember much. This is what I remember. Uh, Tom King said he was going to work through his Iraq war trauma through this book. Tom King also realized that all of his characters being depressed middle-aged white men with mommy wives was getting to be a cliche. So he basically said this is going to be the last hurrah for that. Uh, did I say Doctor Strange? Adam Strange was accused of a murder? I think? It's been a while. He was doing a book tour. And then they were doing this thing, showing his adventures during the war, which is the coded symbolic, you know, Iraq war uh, that he served in uh, across the ocean. Um, so anyway, this book was awesome. <laughs> There's really just one problem. Uh, so I always make fun of these characters' names in DC Comics, Super Babooper Man and Captain Amazing Man and Bouncing Boy and major disaster so you got this guy whose name is mr terrific and he has these i don't know what they're called t-balls that float around his head and and ask him honestly not i mean they're not any things that i would know off the top of my head but i think if you're supposed to be like the smartest guy in the world this would be really easy stuff it's coded smart guy stuff so he's He's in, uh, conducting an investigation, and part of his life is always challenging himself and being tested. So what I'm trying to say is, it's a pretty solid Adam Strange book. It's an awesome Mr. Terrific book. Now, yes, this ain't my first rodeo. You know, people say that Tom King can't stick to landing, but he absolutely can stick to landing with his face instead of his feet. It happens 10 times out of 10. So yeah, I know it's coming. I've already accepted he's not gonna stick the landing on it. I could just freaking, in the traditional way, uh, enjoy each uh, issue as kind of an individual thing. So uh, you got Mitch Gerads doing the Mr. Terrific storyline. You got uh, something Shaner, something Shaner, Doc Shaner doing the uh, Adam Strange. So, I mean, you look at it, it's just, Okay, some of this is very obviously trace photos, but a lot of it, it's not as as artsy. So uh, you got two storylines. One is Adam Strange kind of being honed by having to step up and make it through the desert alone. And then the other story is um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Terrific Man. So when I see stuff like this, which is... It's, you you kind of have to get into deep lore while, while I, this would annoy me. The... This kind of like overly idealized uh, marriage that keeps happening over and over and over again in uh, Tom King's stuff with the kind of um, Femi uh, uh, lead uh, contrasted with Mr. Terrific, who looks like the traditional masculine hero. You know, he's he's doing an investigation. He's working out. He's reading a lot. And then um, it's just kind of them holding hands with this kind of like femi soft face and you're like i would like uh adam strange to be more like mr terrific let's just skip ahead not for the copyright gods specifically 
But uh, there's a good point where um, basically uh, her jetpack has broken down and he's like, well, I can fly both of us. And she's just like, look, you're the guy. You're, you're the hero. You're the one who's going to be able to figure this out. So I'm going to you know, sit in the shade and you're going to go save the day. Now, if you look at this body language, this is Tom King 101 mommy wife, um, you know, the passive submissive man with the woman taking charge and telling him what to do. But, okay, this one actually, like, look at his eyes. That is, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's not a man to me. Like, but he goes out in the desert and he gets, uh, he gets born again tough, you know? Uh, I'm, God, this little, oh. Then he crashes and he's got it. oh, jeez, these Disney eyes. Then he crashes and he has to step up. Um, I love this part where we're showing part of uh, uh, Mr. Terrific's uh, freaking his workout is he takes a uh, like a it says 50 kg 64. I thought those plates were usually 45 pounds. Anyway, he takes one of the big plates out to a frozen over lake, chucks that MF for like freaking 30 feet, then. Swims down to get it. That is a boss. So now, oh, look a little. Little Timmy's getting some chin stubble. Looks like he's not going to need mommy after all. So uh, there's a cool bit where he plays dead to kill this uh, uh, desert creature to drink his blood. Um, we see Mr. Terrific w uh, lifting weights. And then, oh, look at old dude. He's getting tough. He's, he's, he's becoming that hero that everyone wants him to be, especially the readers. Um, so then, uh, I mean, honestly, <laughs> we still got Mr. Terrific outweighing him by about 50 pounds of solid muscle. But he's, he, he's starting to look and act like a hero. Uh, so I like this. I like this Tom King hero getting past mommy. It's not a mommy and me play date anymore. He's out there with his, you know, wits and his uh, bravery and his weapons and he's in his, you know, it's all saving the day. That's what I want to see in a superhero comic. Uh, so anyway, I don't really know Mr. Terrific that much. I always laughed when he had fair play on his, okay, whatever. Uh, so um, it's a recommend. It's a recommend for this issue. The next issue, probably not the last issue, but I like it. And again, it's kind of funny about this uh, this lean and mean. Um, uh, where is it? This lean and mean um, Adam Strange, because that's what DC did. This desert, that's the comic book industry in DC. They they dropped a bunch of books, uh, uh, cut the line. You know, th they built the arc before the rain. They saw the direction that the industry was going in. Uh, they found new distributors. They found new ways. Jeez, this uh, this uh, playing dead to uh, shoot the monster and get its blood, that's basically uh, what they did with the distributor wars right there. They're like, uh, psych, I was just pretending to die. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's how they're going to succeed. It, I, if, I would have picked Marvel to be the one that uh, survives the tough times, but Marvel just cut and ran. They just laid off everyone and just kind of sitting there. Uh, it's weird because this is, quote, new comic book day, which I forgot. And I went to go look, but it doesn't matter. Like Marvel put books out today. They put out several books today. But there's like there's like nothing that would even get you to pick it off the shelf and flip through it. Like DC, they got lean, they got mean. You know, what does uh, Mickey say to Rocky? Greasy fast. And uh, they're the survivors. There's going to be a couple people who kind of, you know, a couple companies who kind of, uh, what is that called? Drafting when you, you get behind the vehicle and it's easier for you to drive. You spend less. Uh, there's going to be a, a, a couple of smaller companies get that get to uh, draft and follow DC in, in its uh, success. But um, yeah. I still don't like super, b b b what do you got? You, there's literally a character called Amazing Man in DC, right? I know he's like funny, but like, <sighs> it wasn't my plan. <laughs> Just 
sort of ended up that way that I like uh, DC Comics. DC Comics are now my favorite comics. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe, the Patreon, and the Indiegogo. The next video, oh, well not uploaded, I uploaded it yesterday, but the, the next video that goes live, that goes public, will be the promotional uh, video for the next secret project. And you know how it is, I, I put the video up, it's, uh, within seconds of the uh, uh, putting the Indiegogo campaign live. So that'll be, um, geez, what is it, what? 12.30 right now? Yeah. Early dinner time. Let's call it that first cafeteria, 4 p.m. dinner time. And around there, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. I'll go live with that. Very excited about it. It's funny, the artist, who is, it's someone you already know and love. Um, it was kind of a interesting project where I wasn't getting page by page. I was just, I was like, hey, show me what style you're going to do and then just go off and finish the book because this is about speed. So he turned in like a couple pages and they were good. They were solid. He saved all of the great pages. <laughs> Yesterday he's like, hey, I turned it in. I was like, okay, great. I'm expecting the, all the book to be at the, the solid level of the, I think he gave me like four or five pages. No, that was him like, learning this style and then everything else is just like freaking amazing so i gotta go rework the uh indiegogo page to sub out like the the solid pages for the amazing pages and uh you're gonna you're gonna uh, love it it's uh in the same universe as pandemic uh anyway so thanks for oh okay so pandemic i actually brought up the wrong one this is the first one that closed down um so there's another one called pandemic comic book that's still live uh, I also am going to do a bundle for this surprise comic and pandemic. I'm trying to debate whether to shut down the live pandemic page. Obviously, this is the one that's not live. Uh, because you'd still be able to get pandemic. You just have to... And you could also individually get it. But I feel like most people will want both of them. So um, put in the comments if you want me to keep pandemic live as its own thing. Or just has, have it available as a bundle uh, with the uh, new projects. And obviously, we got... Spendables go to hell. Give you a second there, buddy. Jawbreaker's Grand Bazaar. Probably going to be um, finishing the pencils. Uh, and then, oh, that's actually going to be on Bristol board uh, for me. So it's going to be pencils by me, inks and colors by uh, Kyle Ritter. So I will have original art to sell. And that'll probably be up on this uh, page uh, later this week. How you doing there, Expendables go to hell? You right there, old fellow? Just about to go to 231,000. Okay, so uh, uh, thanks for watching, and the next video will be a hype beast promoting the new secret project. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.